Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this two-tone embossed image that I have here on my sample card. And it's really rather easy, so let's go ahead and get started. So the stamp set that we're going to be using today for this is um, our stamp of the month for July. It's called American Celebration, and as you can see it looks very patriotic. It has stars and fireworks and the flag. So in particular we're going to be using this flag image. And because it is one image, um, we're going to do um, a little bit of masking to create that two-tone appearance so that it looks more like the American flag. So the first thing um, is I'll give you a little tip that does help some people. Um, some people don't. It doesn't help. Um, if you used a used dryer sheet and rub your paper before you emboss, that will help keep the static down um, so that you don't have stray pieces of the embossing powder sticking to it. And then, as I said, we're going to go ahead and mask this flag image to create that two-tone um, look. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two post notes here, and we're going to go ahead and, using the sticky part, stick that right onto the stamp to cover up the stripes, because we're going to focus on doing the star first. And so we're going to go ahead and put the second one down, again, the sticky side right there, so that it's firm against that star image. And then we're going to go ahead and take our Versamark ink pad, or if you have an embossing ink pad, you can use that as well. Both work just fine. You're going to go ahead and ink that up really good. And then um, remember to take your post notes off before stamping because as you'll see there's a little bit of shininess there because that is also a Versamark that got on there when you're inking it up. And then you're going to go ahead and just stamp like you normally would. Give it a nice firm press. And then you can see how it has a little bit of shine there where we have that Versamark. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sprinkle um, some outdoor denim embossing powder. And I have some left over in my tray here so I will just go like that and um, if some do still stick on there a thing that you can do is you can if it's not close to the image you can just use your fingers to rub that off or I like to also use the piercing tool because it gets into really small spaces and um, that way you won't ruin your image so then you have your star image in the outdoor denim and you'll want to go ahead and remove your embossing powder tray and then you'll go ahead and heat that up with your heat tool until it goes from that grainy crystally look to a smooth shiny look and here I've already done that to show you a sample so see how that has a shinier look to it and then what we're going to do is um, you're going to go ahead and ink off you can stamp off on scratch paper or you can clean it just to get that Versamark off that image there on the star that we did first and you're going to go ahead and take your post note and you're going to do the reverse of what we did before you're going to go ahead and put that post note down so it's covering up the star image and then you're going to go ahead and ink it up Again, in your Versamark or your embossing pad. Get it nice and covered. Again, taking off the post note first. And then um, a benefit of these clear stamps is you can see exactly where you're stamping. So you're going to go ahead and line that up with that star. And you're going to stamp really firmly to get those nice crisp lines. And peel that off. And you can see, again, there's some shiny stripes. And then we're going to go ahead and take our cranberry embossing powder. And since I have some left over, I'm just going to go ahead and use that from my tray. You'll just tap off any excess and fix that before you go ahead and use your heat tool and heat it up again until it goes from the crystal grainy appearance to a nice smooth image as I have here. And there you have your two-toned appearance. You have your blue up in the corner and your red on the stripes just as the American flag is. So not too hard, just a little bit of masking. Um, but very fun, effective technique. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for stopping by.